Guys, if you've been following the project to bring Windows 11 to Microsoft's Surface Duo today, I have some good news for you because a new update to the drivers has been released and there are several really, really big features to talk about. If you don't know what I'm talking about in general, well, this is going to be in a playlist of videos covering this all the way back to how to install it way back in the beginning. Some really, really cool stuff. With that said, let's jump into the change log here, version 2303.64 Lemonbird. I like that he's naming Gus, uh, the person responsible for this project, Gus on Twitter, Gus. 33,000. Go give him a follow. Coming up with some nice fun names for these driver updates. Let's go through these new features. You can now update your Surface Slim Pin charger by plugging it into Surface Duo using a C to C cable. Updating the charging cradle is required in order for the Surface Slim Pin 2 to charge in the cradle in case the cradle does not run the latest available firmware. So basically, you got your Slim Pin 2 in a charging cradle, and if that cradle is not fully updated, it won't charge the pin. Well, now you can actually use your Duo to update that cradle like it's a real live PC. Very, very cool. Put any Surface Slim pin into a connected charging cradle, automatically pair it with Duo. So you've got your cradle plugged into the Duo, put your pin in the cradle, it is now paired with Duo. Again, just like a real computer. Removing a Surface Slim pin from a connected charging cradle will automatically wake up Surface Duo. Just more really good Slim pin integration here. New firmware is now available for the Slim pin 2 users. It will automatically update when it's connected to the device. Touch drivers are now shared between both devices. You can now use OTG devices effortlessly. This is fantastic. That means if you want to plug a USB-C hub into your Surface Duo now, it should function totally normally, making your life much, much easier. Before, it was a little finicky. Now that all should be ironed out and working really well. Here's a huge one. Charging is now back into this release without blue screen of death issues that have been plaguing it before. You can now charge this thing when it is in Windows. No more do you have to reboot into Android to actually charge this thing. Leave it in Windows full time and you're able to charge it. That is a huge one. We talked about it a couple months back, but it kind of worked on some devices, not on others. Mine, it did not work, and it caused the BSOD issue that's fixed, and I can confirm, like you just saw, it is working on my device just fine. Updated calibration for pins and touch, so that should help a bit. The calibration has always been a little bit off when you're touching stuff near the edges of the screens. Added support for DisplayPort via USB-C. This is a really cool one as well. Updated camera drivers. The camera app now starts, but doesn't do anything else. You can take pictures yet, but the app does at least start. Updated sensor driver to make the geomagnetic orientation sensor available. And then we've got a couple of other fixes there, as well as some temporary stuff you can read on screen. All in all, this is a really, really big update. The Surface Slim Pin stuff is really cool to see, but the charging stuff is a big deal. We are one step closer to people being able to just stay in Windows 11 as much as they would like. Of course, there's still some things in the way, like audio, we still need the speakers working, and some other small things like that, but we're getting much, much closer. If you wanna check this stuff out, again, check out the playlist you're in. I'll drop a link to this uh, actual website, the GitHub site, where all these files are in the description down below, as well as a link to Gus on Twitter, definitely be following him on Twitter as well. Guys, thanks for watching this quick update. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.